Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2,206th edition of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni and Traders. When I say short-term trading, we are not scalpers by any means. We are not jumping in and out all day long, ever. We come up with a plan, we plan a trade. The night before and the next day, we plan our tra that we've planned our trade. We trade our plan, and that's it. And we're out at the end of each day, so no jumping in and out. Don't worry about that. What you do need to worry about is the risk behind trading. If you don't know this is a risky game, then you've obviously never traded before. Even Natalie has lost, and she's 15 right now. Mm -hmm. You lost in gold the other day. Bad one too. <laughs> So listen, put your stops in, put them in first, and know that this isn't suitable for all traders, okay? Let's get moving. So this video is coming at you on a Thursday night for trading Thursday through Friday, December 18th, 2020. Traders, I've got some topics on the board. Right off the bat, Bitcoin is approaching the first omni-target of 27,000. How about that, kids? You guys thought I was crazy with that countdown, remember? I said, everyone watch. I'll do this before your eyes. I showed you my phone. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin. And I said, I have a target now, and we will count that target down. So we've been counting down. We've got one year and one month to go. To hit the second target in Bitcoin of 35000 But the first target's coming in earlier than I thought. So we'll, maybe we'll get to the second target before the targeted date. But for now... Bitcoin 35,000 between 2021 and 2022 at the end of 2021, maybe Dece Jan 2022, we should hit that according to the projection we have done and worked on together for the past four years. So it's almost there so far so good. NASDAQ, S&P, Russell look happy. Apple and Tesla staying on course to reach those targets I've showed you about in these last few videos. So we've got a lot of great stuff to talk about. And wing wing, thank you. You won the first contest for the t-shirt and the mask. And I've received your email and wrote back to you. And we got your information. Thank you so much for sending it. And I will send out your merch. So we're going to have to find out who won in last night's video, the contest. Let's find out who won in the last video. So we're going to fill the hat with all your names. A lot of you did write back to me and you found the phrase in the video. You got to my website and you sent me the email. So all your names will go in the tinfoil hat, Natalie. And if you don't mind, go put all their names in the hat and bring it back upside down. And we'll do it after the chart segment. Thank you, sweetheart. So we'll find out who won. I can't wait to find out who I'm sending another t-shirt mask out to. Uh, that was the t-shirt mess that you'll be winning. Traders, I want to show you some fantastic charts for trading on Friday. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the Russell 2000, now we're in the March contract. Look at this crazy bullish channel after the bull flag. That is just off to the races. I mean, the Papa Natali rally is already setting in. Thank you, Jerome. Right, he gave us the kickstart, and now... I think Santa's going to do the rest for us, because boy, oh boy, that Russell looks really sharp here. And E-mini S&P as well. Now, of course, it could turn around and pull back all the way to the bottom of this channel, but it would still be in a buy-type channel where you're buying dips. I don't really expect that. I think we hit the top of the channel before the bottom, but anything's possible in this game. You know how that works, which is why I emphasize put your stops in at all times. Make sure you do. But we're going to buy dips in S&P if we could get filled. And then look at the NASDAQ, same chart you've seen in video after video. I'm you know, sort of instructing, teaching you on how to use resistance and support to your advantage. So when you hit resistance, market usually drops. When you hit support, generally it'll hold and rally. Well, we've been in this very nice channel bouncing from resistance, support. As you can see, support, resistance, it's just been bouncing through. We're on our way back up to resistance, but you've got a decent amount of room before we get there. And we got above this. If you connect this previous high to that high, stretch that line out, we are now above that resistance line as well. So unless we turn around and get onto here, I think you have to buy dips in the NASDAQ as well for trading on Friday. Then you've got Bitcoin. This is sick, kids. This is the one. Bitcoin. 
Look at, remember I showed this to you, I said the Oscar cylinder, maybe we'll pop out of it in the next day or two. I showed you this just two days ago. That's where it was, and this is what happened. I mean, that's it. We're on our way to the 27 target, but boy, I'm going to pop out of that cylinder, huh? So I think it's got higher to go, and we're still willing to buy dips in Bitcoin. The Tesla target remains valid for 697. I was expecting to get it there before 1221 when the S&P, well, or I should say when Tesla goes into the S&P 500. And once all the funds are in, all the funds are in, right? So maybe it tops out for a little while once it gets in the S&P and trades sideways. But I think the target remains valid. Technically, I know it does remain valid for the next couple of days if we don't somehow see it tomorrow. And then Apple, when I showed you this a few days back, we were down here and I said, now I think it pops up to 138. Well, look what it's done so far. Not bad, huh? 128, 138 we could easily end up getting to. And then finally, all of this is being brought to you. Bitcoin going up, the stock market going up. It's all being brought to you by the everlasting br breakdown in the U.S. dollar. Since we fell out of that flag and dropped even further, you can buy U.S. dollars cheaper almost every day with foreign currency. Come in and buy our stocks and buy our real estate and buy our bonds. So a cheap dollar right now doesn't hurt. And remember, I've told you this before, this is still honeymoon area. This is not so cheap that it's going to create hyperinflation or make other countries' currencies run up too far. It's still in a good spot. If you break down really far, then it starts to become detrimental. So for now, it's still in a pretty good spot, but the dollar dropping is starting to make all other assets float, including commodities. So traders, you've seen the charts. Now, you see the bullishness that you're starting to see? You have to understand what's going on with our economy, with the country. It's like about nine months ago, we had a rocket sitting there on a launch pad, ready to go. Houston said, it's okay to go. Hit the launch button. They hit the launch button. The fire started coming out of the bottom. Then COVID came, and they were called and said, hold on, hold on, don't go anywhere. Sit on that launch pad and let the fire just brew. And our economy and our country, it's like that rocket just sitting here. And finally, the vaccine's coming out. We are just going to explode. It's going to be like the roaring 20s for a couple of years because we are being set free. And if you don't think there's a lot of money in this country ready to go, if you don't know the size of just some of our markets, Anyone in here, anybody watching, even have a clue how big the U.S. bond market is? Just the bond market, without the stocks or anything else. Yeah. Anyone? It's over a hundred trillion dollars, just the bond market. Our stock market, 36 to 38 trillion dollars, just in the stock market. Our banks and bank accounts, just people who have saving accounts only, 18 trillion dollars in saving accounts. You know what I didn't even add in? So where are we at? 136, 18, we're at 154. We're at 154 trillion dollars in the U.S. market. You know what I haven't spoken about yet? The real estate market. Private family office money, which they say is larger than the stock market. 401k funds that aren't invested in stocks, that are invested in other things. Private investment market, we didn't even talk about that. There's a lot of money in this country. It's sitting there like this. So once the vaccine is out, it's not whether you got the vaccine or not. It's the fact that now we have one. It's proven to be effective. It is going to set this economy free. So get ready for it. Yes, we'll have pullbacks, but boy, this is going to be fun. All right, traders. So now we had a contest to get to. Does everybody remember the contest? All right. So the phrase in the last video, you guys did absolutely find it. It was plan a trade, then trade that plan. Many of you wrote in. Would you please step up? Natalie, thank you so much, darling. So in the hat, we have all your names. And Matt, would you like to pick? All right, close your eyes. You got to look up. Look down now. Sideways. Up. Hip. Turn right. Hip. 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 <laughs> All right. Reach in. No, not there. Where's my finger? <laughs> All right. What do you got? Who won the contest? Would you take that, please? So, tonight's contest winner is Dan W. Dan, you are the winner of the contest. Was that hold upside down? Did I hold that upside down or was that correct? 
All right, you are the winner of the contest. You will be receiving a mask and an Omni t-shirt. Turn around for a second, please. On the back, my favorite saying. And on the front, as you know, the Omni logo. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. So, congratulations to you. Now you have to get in touch with me. Same way you told me about the sentence that was in, or the, the subliminal sentence that was in the last video. Get in touch with me, give me your email address, your information, and I promise to send out your Omni merch. Congratulations. So I'm not going to do a video giveaway. I'm not going to do a giveaway in tonight's video because I don't have the energy for it. <laughs> I have to run all the rest of it in the back end and cut everything up and get it all ready. So I'm not doing one in this video, but I will do one in our next. Traders, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you know each and every night when I put out a new video because these videos are geared for trading literally the moment you see that video. It's for trading from that moment till the close of the next day. So make sure you subscribe, watch the videos, and check out where the market's going to go. And then join me in my free live trading room at www.livewithoscar.com. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I will see you all in my next video. Have a great weekend. And remember, keep your emotions out of trading. Believe me, I know that's not easy. This is a very, very emotional game. But do yourselves a favor. Put that stop in first before you trade. And then say this to yourselves over and over again. Because believe me, if you listen, if your ears hear what your mouth is saying, I promise you it will help. And by now, you should know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you, thank you. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.